Hey guys, what's up? What's up? You know, I just decided to come live for a little bit. It's so crazy. I've been living here at this complex and uh, for a while, and I just have not, you know, gotten the chance to experience the place, the property on my own, you know, or uh, not really on my own, but to to just you know relax and you know show the beauty of the place and the property so i'm gonna do a u-turn for you guys to see see that yep so look at that i've been so like super super busy guys not having a chance to really enjoy the beauty of the place you know um and to just relax for a little bit um i don't even want to lay down but yeah i'm just here it's a little bit cooler today it's not as hot i like it it's not cold it's just cool it's just a cool thing but i just wanted to come to you guys just for a little bit and to just talk about an issue that and i keep saying it all the time guys like you know if you are not strong and you don't know god like this country can break you um it can break you in such a way that you, your mind you will start having mental issues like for me i am strong and i know god and when i when i can't fight my own battles I talk to him and I leave it at his feet but I'm just saying this to say like especially in the workforce here like where I'm from it's totally different like the work ethics is different like you know the only difference with here is the the, the money the money is different um, in terms of the value of it but the work ethic and labor law is different you know when you're being you're in an institution or in an you know organization working with you know with people and you are there working 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 you're working hard you're grinding you're doing everything and it's like no matter what you do they don't want to see you elevating they don't want to see you grow um and i tell and I say this all the time, if you are in an environment and there's no growth, leave that environment. Like if you are there and no matter what, you're just on that same level, like get out, you know? Um, and this country there is, you can be anything that you wanna be. You know what I mean? There, there is so much opportunities here but at the same time if you are not smart in terms of not book smart but if you are not level-headed if you don't have a strong will if you are not able to take up and stand up for yourself then you can be taken advantage of and so I just say this to say that if you are not from here um, you're an immigrant you are just here working um, and it's unfortunate but it's the truth that you will tend to get the hardest set of work and get paid less it can be the other way around too where it's not just about your color and the thing is the law states that you should never be discriminated because of your race your color your ethnic background um, your sexuality and the list goes on but you still have persons that is going to is going to go beyond that and is going to test you and unfortunately if you are not you know strong and be able to stand firm be respectful but stand firm then they will take advantage of you you know i say this for the new year we are in claim what is yours tell yourself you're going to be that manager tell yourself you're going to be that top chef tell yourself that you're going to be that top you know whatever it is and claim it because no one else is going to claim it for you you got to go and you have to stand firm stand your ground and once you know that you're on the right path then you do it you know 
it's so weird it's it's a simple thing because i'm gonna give you a little scenario and it's not just with the workplace it's in general like over here like people think that they are better off than you sometimes because of the color of your skin and because of maybe you know they look down on you and stuff like that but i tell you never judge a book by its cover because or never just judge someone based off their appearance because i can dress all classy and all made up and hair down to and i'm nothing i'm nobody and i can look like just hey plain jane and i can be the richest woman walking in your institution so treat people with utmost respect and don't judge a book by its cover two things happened since the year has started I don't, as a matter of fact three things i went to a particular store and i'm going to name the store i went to walmart and i was returning an item and the item that we received we tried with it it was not working and we returned the item my husband and myself and once we walked in and we walked up to the return area which is customer service and the young lady scanned the item she saw the price of it she started to say oh unfortunately she can't do this return because she can't find it um, anywhere in the system I was like okay and I watched her she scanned again and then she called for her manager her manager looked took out her you know her little gun that they use um, to scan items to find the skew if they need to find an item and she scanned it she saw the price because my husband saw when the price came up and it was hundred and fifty four dollars and she basically told me the, the the cashier first she said oh um, we don't take we don't give refunds over forty dollars and I looked up on the sign and I said, where in this building on your sign that says you don't take, re you don't give refunds or exchange over $40. Your sign says you refund, you will take, you will exchange any item with or without a receipt as long as it's not over 90 days. Now, I kept my composure because as yet again, as I say, you don't know my background. You don't know who I am. You don't know nothing about me and you basically lied to me and i took it and i and and then i watched the manager did her thing and it's like oh we don't sell it in the store i don't know why it's not coming up we don't have it in the store it's like okay fine and i took the stuff and i told my husband let's get out of here because we went there for that but not only that we wanted to get other items too and she was like oh it's not sold here so i said okay let's go outside with the item we went back in the car and i said you know we're gonna go back in there let's go back and see if it is sold here because she said it's not there <laughs> well we went back only to find the product was not only there they had different types different sizes and it was actually there in aisle 11 and i said listen we're going outside back for this item and we're going to come back in the store and we're going to go back to her to if we don't even get her but we're going to go for another manager so I, I walked in like I just came in and I saw an associate packing her shelf and I said can you direct me to the manager on duty today oh and behold there comes the lady the same one that I dealt with before so I walked up to her and I said to her I came to you early and you told me that this item was not in your store okay this item is in your store and it's in aisle 11 so what I would like for you to do because you and I are in the same position. I'm also a manager and I know how it works retail. You're going to take the item. You're going to go on the computer. You're going to hand key that SKU number in. And you're going to create a gift card. And you're going to give me a refund. She's like, oh, okay. And she called us an associate that was cashing. And she did it because she knew what she was supposed to do. And then she didn't give us the full price. She gave it to us for $111. So she ended up sharding us like... um. 40 something dollars for what reason i don't know but the point is i'm trying to say what if i had just said to my husband okay let's go back and that's just it a lot of people have their rights and they don't know it they don't know what is what they're supposed to do and it's so unfortunate because she i if i never mentioned that i'm in the same position that then that she is in and i'm also a manager she would not have done it you know what i mean and it's so crazy because like why like why would you think of you know to look down and up because i was not i was not dressed i was just in a baseball hat and i was just there you know what i mean but she decided to do that and i'm just saying you gotta just be strong guys you gotta just be strong and just make sure that 
you know your rights and you're not being taken advantage of so for this new year guys it's a very short vlog i just wanted to check in with you guys and um just for this year go get it Ch you're, you've been chasing your dreams it's time for you to get it accomplish it and know your worth all right so peace out for now guys and be blessed and have a fabulous day from me to you bye